Hello everybody, we have a corridor built and uh, you eventually will probably want to create a finished ground surface of that corridor model. So you will first need to create some corridor surfaces and you can do that by right clicking on your corridor, going into the property section and selecting the surfaces tab. Now, well, first things first, that's you're gonna create, uh, you have the option of creating a number of different surfaces from your corridor depending on what you want. If you are looking to create some cut and fill volumes then you'll most likely want to create a corridor that represents your datum surface and this can be compared to your existing ground surface to eventually generate some volumes. So give the corridor an appropriate name uh, and specify the code. So in this case it's a datum and I'm going to go ahead and click add. Now you should uh, for these types of uh, uh, surfaces, datum surfaces, and things like top surfaces only have one code per surface. So I've got a datum surface uh, uh, listed if I wanted to do something else, like maybe I'd like to eventually create a uh, finished ground model, I'm going to need a representation of my top surface. So I can create another corridor uh, surface and call this uh, top and add the appropriate code to that one and like I said only one code per surface folks so once you've got that you can go ahead and say okay it will create two surfaces two brand new surfaces for me uh, it won't look much different you'll see a couple of surfaces built on my screen with some uh, contouring uh, shown there and notice in your surfaces tab you've got two new surfaces a top and a datum the corridor surfaces uh, are denoted by a little corridor on your tin icon so that tells you that it is currently linked tied to your corridor so if you delete your corridor your corridor surfaces will disappear as well now if you see any kind of uh, a tinning going across curves uh, you'll probably want to create some corridor boundaries for those surfaces corridor surface boundaries and uh, that should be done most likely anyway by right clicking on your corridor going into the properties and there should be a tab right next door to surfaces called boundaries uh, right click on each surface and uh, depending on what your needs are for the most part you could more probably use corridor extents as outer boundary and that'll use the uh, daylight point of where our uh, assembly ties into our existing ground surface as our corridor boundary. Uh, so add in a boundary for each surface, uh, say hey, OK and rebuild that surface and any tin lines should then be uh, removed. And that's about it for corridor surfaces. Thanks for watching folks. Bye now.